Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. This is an extension of my last video on the wheelbarrow technology. And I have to say, first of all, I really enjoyed all the discussions that were going on after I put that one up. And I wasn't sure how it was going to go over given how different the results were compared to the usual advice that's out there. But I appreciate the thoughtful comments and hearing different points of view on the topic. And from what I've seen, some of the most productive and civil discussions on YouTube are happening right here. So I just want to let you guys know how much I appreciate that. Today we're looking at the handcart technology and specifically when is the optimal point to get it. In the last video I took a look at the ideal time to research wheelbarrow from an economic collection rate mathy point of view and in this video I want to try to do the same thing again and apply it to handcart. Sounds easy enough, right? Well, it's not hard, but the results are jarring. Let's take a look. Just to recap the last video, I had a scenario built town with 7 gold miners, 13 lumberjacks, and 10 miners. I let the town run for 5 minutes, once without wheelbarrow and once with wheelbarrow, and then I did one more time with handcart. I then found the total resources collected and divided it by the number of villagers to get individual rates. So here's a table that summarized last video's results for wheelbarrow and is now including handcart rates as well. I'm showing all the collection rates per villager per minute there, and I've also indicated the increase as a percentage in green. Here's that data again, but with graphs showing the collection rates for each of the resources. If you're confused about what's going on here, I explained all the graphs, equations, and tables a bit more in the last wheelbarrow video, and I'm assuming you've seen that. The first weird thing we notice in the results is the relatively small increase in farm collection for handcart compared to wheelbarrow. Is wheelbarrow a better upgrade? Well, looking at it, it shouldn't be. They're both an increase in villager walk speed, which greatly impacts farming because units don't gather while you see them walking around on the farm, they only gather while they're actually stopped in one place. Handcart makes units 10% faster than wheelbarrow, which is 21% faster than baseline, and they carry double what they did at the start of the game, or 50% above the wheelbarrow carry amount. Handcart should have an equal, if not slightly larger effect on farming than Wheelbarrow did if we look at it from a statistical point of view, and I think there's some mysterious attribute of the farming mechanic that's accounting for this. Ultimately, the reason doesn't matter too much, it would just be nice to know for curiosity's sake why this is going on. We also notice Handcart has a greater effect on the collection rate of wood and gold than Wheelbarrow did statistically, and it's more of an across the board increase in efficiency than Wheelbarrow was. That sort of makes sense for wood and gold since it's a plus 50% carrying capacity instead of plus 25%. Something critical to note about handcart is that it only takes 55 seconds to research. Wheelbarrow took 75 and villagers take 25. That means you can research handcart in the time it takes to make 2.2 villagers. It's not a big deal to work in fractions of villagers here since they're really just indirect measures of time. 2.2 villagers is basically another way of saying 55 seconds of game time. Okay, with all that information, let's put it into some equations and find out the ideal time to get handcart. Ideally as a population number, similar to last time. So any guesses before we do it? Maybe 60, 80? In making the equation, we might be able to get away here with saying that handcart is about a 5% increase in efficiency across villagers on all resources. As long as we don't take our final number too seriously, it should be a reasonable estimate. There's the system that we're solving, and here's the answer. It's 44. Hey now, isn't that almost the exact same number as we got for wheelbarrow? That can't be right. Well, we weren't super precise about it though, so let's try to better model reality and use the same distribution as last video with the right amount of villagers on the resources from a couple of actual matches. We'll also use the exact values for collection instead of averaging anything. This time, after being much more thorough, the ideal point is at 40.26. Well, that's even worse. Now it's saying we should get handcart several villagers before we get wheelbarrow. Not that you could even do that if you wanted to. Okay, what's going on? Did I mess up the math? Well, no, it's doing exactly what we're asking it to do. The thing that's playing with the formula is the 55 second research time. If it was a 75 second research time, like Wheelbarrow, it would have said 55 villagers, which sounds more in line with numbers we've heard floating around before. 
but that's not the situation. Handcart is research faster. We've just uncovered a major issue with this formula to model Handcart. It's only looking at town center research time. Handcart has a similar boost to wheelbarrow and it's research faster. So of course, if we're looking at the decision of should I make more villagers or get Handcart, it's going to look very favorably on Handcart. So what's the catch? Is the whole approach wrong? Well, no. I still stand behind looking at town center work time when we evaluate wheelbarrow, as in the last video. Don't worry guys, I haven't recanted that one. In that case, it's a simple trade-off of town center time with the potential payback of each choice. I think there's another big factor we have to balance with handcart though, and have you realized what that factor is yet? The factor is cost. Wheelbarrow costs about the same as the three villagers you could have made instead. The difference is about 100 resources, which pays back in only a few minutes. Handcart costs 500 resources, about twice as much as Wheelbarrow for roughly the same villager increase. Now we're comparing increased collection rate overall with an immediately lost 500 resources. 500 resources of units at just the right spot on the map could have a big impact on the game, so it's a bigger commitment in the short term. Guys, I hate to say it, but there is no perfect mathematical time to get handcart. All we can say is from a collection rate standpoint, it's worth the 55 second research time at 40-ish villagers. I can't tell you when 500 resources is worth a small collection rate bump, because right after you get it, you're immediately in the hole a significant number of resources. And depending on the game, that might either have little consequence, like in a walled up black forest where you're booming, or it could cost you the game on Arabia under the wrong circumstances. The trade-off isn't two things we can quantify anymore. Its collection rate, which we can quantify, weighed against the situational value of floated resources, or whatever else you might be researching or building with that 300 food and 200 wood. Faster collection rate and high efficiency doesn't help much if you're dead because you didn't make enough units to fight off an attack. Now, I'm being dramatic here for sure, but overbooming and neglecting military is a real thing that happens all the time even to the best of us, and getting handcart when you're in a precarious military position could certainly fall under that category. Any recommendation I make would be nothing more than my personal preference when playing, and one of my main goals with the math videos is to not just push my preferred playstyle, but to support my conclusions with things that can be objectively assessed. The best general answer I can give is probably getting wheelbarrow before 45 villagers has an economic cost associated with it, but after you get it, get handcart whenever you feel that you can afford it without risking your immediate military position. Use your intuition of the game to tell you whether you're in a situation where you need a military push or if things are settling into a few minutes of safety and you can invest for the long haul. Before I send you on your way, let me arm you with some more numbers to keep in mind. If I can't give you a clear answer, maybe I can give you the info so that you can balance it in a game to make informed decisions. At 50 villagers, assuming the standard distribution I've used for the last two videos, we're talking about 14 resources per minute with handcart that wouldn't be coming in if you had not interrupted villager creation to get it. That's not a lot, and that means it takes 36 minutes to pay back the handcart tech. Yes, your collection rate is technically higher, but for all intents and purposes, you're not better off at that point, are you? You starting to see how weird this is? At 100 villagers, handcart gives you an extra 70 resources per minute. Now you're talking. Just to show you the extreme at 200 villagers, it's 185 resources per minute. Now, way before you get to that point, you have to start thinking about population limit. Having better villagers is more useful than more villagers because more villagers means less room for military. This is another part of that overbooming thing I was talking about. The takeaway here is that even though it's statistically better from a town center idle time perspective to get handcart at 40-ish villagers, it's not really a good investment of its cost until significantly later. Exactly when you feel you can absorb that cost safely is going to be up to you. The choice is one of personal playstyle and comes down to the map and exact state of the game. Do you like high cost, big reward over the long term or playing it safer and waiting until later in the game? Since the point of an economy is ultimately to have a bigger and better military, diverting resources into your economy is essentially sacrificing military power now for more later. Economy is just the middleman. I hope that gives you something to think about and a bit of insight on the mechanics of what's going on in this decision. I'm sorry I couldn't give you a definitive answer, but I guess not every question can be answered by math. 
Stay tuned to the channel because that Viking overview is going to be coming up next. And thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.